<laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the Fit Super Saturday Willpower. And then a lot of you come for the double sculpt and stretch. Just oh, step it out. Third week. Well, this is the third week of January. We are wrapping up. So getting back to normal schedules, hopefully for a lot of you. <clears throat> Uh, all right, we're going to flow today. Got a, a little message on my heart to share. And we just, I just want you to, again, movement evokes motion, evokes emotion. So that's what, when we're moving, when we're taking care of our body, when we're exercising, you just tend to feel better, think better, be better, do better. All of those things that come with some movement. So whatever you need today, um, if you need to push it a little harder, Get those endorphins flowing a little bit more. Go for it. If you're feeling like you had a big week, lots of activity, and just kind of want to move the body, get the blood flowing, willpower is perfect for all of that. Ah, oh, good morning, Don. Good morning, Amanda, Judy, Sharon, Sydney, Anne, Letty, Grammy, Steph. Woo, I didn't even have a chance to look at the roster this morning. Yes. Already 25 strong. All right, hold it up. Massage out that foot. Uh, take, just getting some blood flow through the full body. If you think about um, most of the time, especially when we're sleeping or sitting, most of the blood flow in your body is just kind of in this trunk part of your body, keeping your organs flowing, keeping you alive. But we're built for more than that, to thrive. So when we move, when we exercise, we start to get that blood out to the fingers, the toes. That's where you get that extra glow, that color, that shine. I was like, yesterday after box, Liz, Julie and I were swapping sweaty selfies and those are the people you wanna be around that share sweaty selfies, that you showed up and did the work, right? That's the first part of our mantra, do the work. Uh, good morning, is that Janelle, top dogs in the house? Good morning, Lindy, Cassie, Sydney, Leslie. Ah, everyone's here. This is the place to be this morning. Well done, my friends. All right. And roll power is a rewarding workout. Every workout's a rewarding workout, but this one fills your mind, your body, your spirit. All right, take the fingertips to the ears. Take your feet nice and wide and just take it to the side and up. And I like to come with a little, a theme or a special message on Saturdays. And I was thinking and praying on it this week and I went a couple different directions and I keep landing back on this one. And I think, especially being in the beginning of a new year, this is a good one. Uh, with the new year is a new opportunity, right? Whether we're not resolution people, we're everyday people. Um, but with the new year does come this kind of freshness of opportunity, blank page, a blank slate, uh, a new chapter in your book, 2024, titled 2024. And today's page is titled January 20th, 2024. Think about that. There will never be another page in your book that has that same title blank and you are writing it All right one more in the warm up so lift it up open up i always like to take this again it's saturday had a big week started with actually a holiday this was a long week so if you need to let anything go right now reach up lift up any longer than you need to, right? I know I for sure can tend to carry that baggage of those lessons. When they're ready, let them go. When you've learned the lessons, when you've gotten what you need, free that weight from yourself. Most often it's our own. Continuing the story, continuing to beat ourselves up about something or replay something in our mind that shoulda, woulda, coulda, let it go. Sing the Elsa song in there too. Beautiful. Good morning, Nana, Cheryl. Awesome. 31 strong. Yes. Three, two, 
one. Okay. Start willpower. It's funny. My theme is about getting out of your comfort zone, doing something different, not being stuck. And I kind of laugh because willpower is one of those staples at VFit. It doesn't change. It's pretty same set of movement patterns. Um, but we also need those staples, those stones, those pillars. So willpower is one, but I'm gonna change the order we do things today. So it feels a little bit different. We're gonna start with our turnout work. So just start to move. Those of you that were in bar, oh, feeling these cougar lunges. I'll take it out side to side. Yes, awesome. Nice, Jessica. And if you can do this barefoot, do it barefoot. If you feel like you need some support in your shoes, put those shoes on. Do whatever you need to do this morning. You are free. I should have some low background music. All right, yes, cougar lunges. Open up those legs. Toes are turned out. Hips are sliding back. Take those arms out, beautiful. And really feel that weight. You're transferring from heel to heel. Heel to heel. Nice, let it get in low. All right, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold it over to the left side and just come down and up right here. Hold it back and up. So hopefully over the past couple of weeks, months, um, you've all been kind of working on your theme for this year, your vision board, your, um, starting to plan some trips, getting this year booked with adventure and fun and goals and all that stuff. And I was thinking, we go over to the left, down and up. And now I want you to start to reach that right arm down, bring it just to the hip, just reach it down, bring it up. Or if that doesn't feel good, you shouldn't feel this in your knee, your hips are going back, bring it up down now start to bring that right hand in to your armpit you're reaching for something actively pulling it up and there you go flat back reach and pull morning stacy kathy who else popped in there we go all right, down and up. And then the last part of this, if you wanna take a little external rotation towards the back, again, seeing what's behind you, but coming right back to the present. Down and up, down and up. Perfect. A little bit of vestibular work here too, four. Three, really reach and pull. One more, okay, now we're gonna take it in to the crescendo. So we're changing the order today, which is gonna make you a little bit more having to think about it, keeping that brain sharp. And that's again, what I, today, I want us to comfortable getting uncomfortable. Right, that theme seems to keep popping up. And I, it's such a good life lesson, one that continues to come around. Are you, well, and no, you don't have to answer this. Are you someone, well, getting uncomfortable? And what does that even mean? Down and up, we're gonna kind of go through that. Yes, reach. It could just be in again, this movement, like taking your foot literally off of the floor 
and trusting this right leg to hold you up. Right, we gotta be comfortable. And this is something, life work, which is so exciting. Because as soon as you get uncomfortable, enough. Oh no, you get back in that comfort zone. So you gotta continue to seek that are they're gonna grow you. Three, beautiful, Santos. Two, nice Melanie. One, now I'm gonna curtsy, lift. So it's, I feel like this lesson keeps coming up right now. And I'm like, this is a good one to share. So just think about your own, where you're at right now. And I think this ebbs and flows because we, we have to be in some states of comfort, right? You're not constantly going to be a Weston Jaggers wanting to live on the edge of life. Just kidding. Not really, but okay. so there is a, a fine line of, I'm not talking about like this year, you're going to start cliff jumping and skydiving. Um, what I'm saying is we are given opportunities to strengthen and grow ourselves, right? May you always seek growth, seek learning new things, trying new things. That's what keeps you literally alive. One, hold it up. Standing crunch here. So just take a quick little inventory right now. You're, you're in of life. Feeling really comfortable really stable, which that's okay too. I'm not saying anything about that. But if there's something you're itching to do, to try, turn, three, two. Okay, we're in a curtsy, side lunge. I want to encourage you today, even if it just plants a seed and it doesn't bear a sprout, for a little while, who knows when, I wanna plant a seed. Again, this comes back to a big theme at VFIT. You all have unique gifts, strengths, purpose. And we get too comfortable, getting comfortable, we get stuck and we stop sharing those gifts to the potential you were made for. So when we get uncomfortable, it's kind of where I'm going. That's where we grow. That's where we connect deeper with that purpose, that gift. And I was thinking, and this is a couple examples. Um, one of my friends in my mastermind group, her name's Sarah. She lives out in Virginia. And I just met her this last year at, at a couple of retreats. And I would have never known. So again, don't ever judge anybody else. You have no idea their story, right? Um, what they're going through, what they've been through. And she just seemed like a super outgoing, awesome word, just someone I clicked with. Like she was, you know, you have those people that you just click with, all of you are those people. And come to find out, I didn't even know this. I had gone to two retreats, hung out with her a lot. Um, in the beginning of the year, or maybe it was December, I don't know, it's all a blur right now. Um, we were talking about kind of our big wins from 2023 and recapping on those. And she said, this is a good one. You still have time. She had set a goal for herself in 2023. Every month, she would do something for the first time, something new. And sometimes, and that was a retreat. She had never gone to a retreat in her whole life. And that was one of her new first things. But it was some, some months, it was like take an aerial silk class. It wasn't always like a big extravagant gift. Um, and she did this recap, a picture from each of her new thing. And the final one was like, she was on a motorcycle or something and her hair was flowing in the wind and you just felt the spirit and freedom of like how much she personally grew by doing something new. Three, two, one, nice team, turn it out. So again, Think about in your life, because you definitely all have these, where you did something for the first time. Maybe it was your VFIT class, first VFIT class. 
Uh, I got a couple funny stories. Maybe it was or a new class or buying a trailer. Um, think about this is what I love about something new, trying a new sport. Look at your kids. You're going to see this on them all the time. Kids are the best, best guide of this because they have so many new and first time things in their life. Um, watching a kid learn to walk, right? How many times I say this analogy a lot because it's so good. They stumble and fall. Say, oh, walking isn't for me. Three, two, one. Okay, turn your right foot forward. We're gonna lunge it over to the right. Beautiful. And come up. So again, if you need some inspiration for doing something for the first time, look to some of the younger generations around you. And this is the thing though, this is really kind of what stunned my less, what got me thinking about this this week. It's also our privilege and duty to raise up our kids. And whether it's your own kids or people in your realm, um, have that confidence, that faith, again, that inner guidance system of their gifts and strengths so that they don't stop and doing new things. And I thought about this. All right, start to reach this left arm down. Pull it up. Well, I'll give my example first and then I'll go into the kids. Um, I think about right here. Ooh, lights me up. Teaching Super Saturday, willpower in particular. So pull this elbow, pull it in. You need to get rid of something, get rid of it. Boom, elbow it out of the way. I fell in love with willpower about 13 years ago. I was in a tough spot. Um, I share Brian and I were trying to have a baby. It wasn't happening. It was really hard. I just felt defeated in my body and my everything. And I found particular, not by, I don't believe by chance. It was meant to be for sure. And I fell in love, okay, so I started to externally rotate with this format. And I started to go, it was at our local gym, Snow Creek. Some of you cat were there with me back then. And I started to go to this class as much as it was on the schedule. It's on the schedule like three or four times a week. And it was a full hour. So it was like an intense, but I just loved the way it made me feel. Two, one. Okay, take it to the crescendo. Ooh, pull it up. We're kind of backing into it today. And that was where I was like, okay, I love this class. I was, Kathy is actually with me, Kathy Enright. I was labeled myself as an accounting person. I worked at an accounting office. I went to college for an accounting degree. I sat in an office eight day hours a day at a desk. So I, that's what I believed I was. But, but I knew inside, like there was something more. Lo and behold, there was a training at the gym to teach willpower. Intensive weekend course. I was like, that's cool. I hope there's more teachers that go to this and can teach willpower. And then I could take this class more. And then my mentor, Sarah, who was a director, she taught willpower. She's like, why don't you sign up for it? I was like, me? I work at an office. I don't do that. I'm too old to teach fitness. I was like 28. <laughs> um, fitting beliefs. One of the most dangerous things you can tell yourself. She's like, well, just take the class. I think you'll enjoy it. You'll, she, got, she got me to just sign up for the class. One. Okay, curtsy. Lift. And this is, I, I talk about the importance of having people around you that push you, believe in you, and again, help you get out of that comfort zone. So I took the course. It's like, awesome. Do you want to teach? I need more instructors. I was like, no, absolutely not. It's not for me. I could never stand up in front of a group and teach. Um, it's like, awesome. You're on a schedule starting in one month at 6 a.m. I was like, yes, Emily, you were there too, some of you. So I was like, okay, 
I guess I'm teaching. I don't even know what I thought at that point. Like she was not gonna take no for an answer. You guys know, I'm a, you have friends like that. I'm like that for you sometimes. All right, curtsy, side lunge. So anyways, I had a month to prepare the 6 a.m. crew at the gym. You guys, a lot of you are like that at VFit. They're a pretty cool crew because it's so early in the day. They're not pissed off yet. They just woke up. Um, they're pretty mellow. So it was a good crew to start with. Remember that first class. I will never forget that first class. 6 a.m. It was February. So, oh, we're coming up probably on my 12 or 13 year. And I was so sick to my stomach. I like literally thought I was gonna throw up on everybody. And I thought of every reason why I couldn't do it. How do I get out of this? What do I get myself into? Cause that's the thing when you get out of your comfort zone, your mind is gonna come in to try to protect you with every possible crazy scenario you it could think of. Three, two, one, hold it up. But there was no out and I was so scared and I taught that class and I probably sucked um, really bad, but I did it. And I remember this feeling, and this is the part I'll never forget. I said, oh my gosh, I think I meant to do this. Something just felt right. And so long story short, here you are today. So it worked out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, come back to center. So I think about two now, pushing the trainer team. Um, always like, you wouldn't know for some of them, like doing a, Facebook Live or making a post or sharing is equivalent to jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. We all have different things that scare us, um, even when they can't actually hurt you, right? So coming back to the kids, uh, we're starting ski PE this year. We're on week two. There's always a group of very beginners who have never put on been on the mountain. They've never been on a chairlift. They've never, um, and it, Kathy, dance with a few of you, um, actually teach anything you teach, but watching these kids overcome the fear and what they're telling themselves, a lot of them are like five, six years old. It is, again, one of my favorite things to watch them get past that. And when they do that run for the first time, or they get that edgy wedgie off, or they get off the chairlift without falling after they were there beyond belief. It is so empowering. And we got to keep doing that for ourselves, for our kids. Here we go. Because um, one thing, and maybe I'm just this way, but I want to share it because I am noticing it more and more. Um, working in the school and around kids more. Kids are getting scared to try. I think a lot of it has to do with you're exposed all the time, social media, um, all the all the other stuff I won't go into. They're afraid to mess up. They're afraid to be embarrassed or to not be the best. And so they they don't even want to try. That happen. Be the encourager. Be the example. Be the person who pours in to them, right? Um, and believes in them because it's, it often just takes the right person or the right word. And what's on that other side is so powerful because here's the thing for all of us. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. If you don't try, you will never get it. If you don't go for it, it will never happen. And so wrapping it up. Oh, thank you, Emily. <laughs> I told you how my very first personal training client I made throw up and I caught her puke in my hand. I always cared. Dude, we always learn, right? You might really suck at something the first while. That is okay. Three, one, hold it up. Beautiful. Right here, if you can. You're on one leg. It doesn't look like anyone's on the side of a cliff. So even if you stumble, you're going to be okay. I want you. You're moving. Your body's flowing. 
What is something in you right now that your spirit is calling for? Like something you want to do. Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's learning something new that you just feel this little whisper, this calling, this little flame. Put a little bit of fuel on it right now. Maybe you don't know how it's going to happen, when, where. It might be something so, seems so out possibility right now. Just pour, pour a little fire. And I always tell us about what you think about, what you take in, what you listen to, who you're around. That is going to either feed that flame. All right, open your eyes. All right, take it to the right. And you don't know, again, when those seeds are planted, you might not even see the fruit of that planting. Maybe you will, maybe it'll be years. Maybe it'll come in the most unexpected way, but you gotta keep growing and getting uncomfortable. And the last lesson I wanna share with that, start to lift it up. It feels like we're at the beginning of class because we're doing squats, but we're almost done. I saw this in my daughter. I love it. Kids, again, you want the amazing inspiration and just watch learn from our kids and again they're learning from us which is the cool part too three two one okay double squat just from the right to the center um emmy my 10 year old my really shy quiet 10 year old and again this is kind of the fruit she has been a swimmer now for a few years which has really grown her confidence and it's taught her a ton of skills swimming's a crazy sport i never did it like standing on the blocks having to wait for the gun to go off having a bad dive or a bad flip turn that affects your whole race like there's a lot of lessons a lot of disappointment and don't be afraid of disappointment you grow from that two one okay so anyways she started to get into theater <laughs> and woo, she comes alive when she's on that stage a little shy emmy um and on last weekend her friend Asked her if she wanted to try out for a play. That's today. If you're in town, two shows today down in Bishop. And she asked her some questions like, what's the practice like? How does it work? And her friend said, okay, I'm just going to warn you. There are tryouts and not everyone makes it. Um, and it's really nerve wracking. And um, you practice all week, four to five hours a day, like told, gave her all the information. And I was like, okay, Emmy, do you want to do it? Two, one, hold it. <sighs> Catch it here. And she said, yes, but I'm so nervous, mom. I said, that's okay. I love, nerves are so awesome. They're, I teach the kids, they're like butterfly wings. They really help you do better. It means you care. The nerves are really good. Um, hold it up. Okay, take, so if you get nervous, again, those are your butterfly wings. They help you, right? You go faster in a race because you got the nerves. And I said, she's like, mom, what if I don't make it? That's a good question. What if I, what if? Because we, we do that to ourselves, all the what ifs. I said, well, you're not in the play right now. So nothing would really change. We would just have like a lot more time this week. And you know, you didn't have anything on your schedule. But what if you made it, Emmy? Like, oh, I would love that. I said, then go for it. Go for it. And so they went and um, it was a, a, a very interesting, it was really good. I mean, the kids had a performance in front of each other. Just the audition um, experience was incredible. And I was like, so proud. There was like 80 kids that went and they didn't all make it. And there was just so many lessons in that process right there. Um, but wrap up the story, Emmy did end up making it. She ended up actually getting a pretty big role and this has been one of the best experiences, uh, she's 10, but literally of her life, like we have watched her grow and blossom. And I think, what if she didn't say yes? She didn't try. We all have one of those situations, right? When you're faced with, what if? I hear it even in fitness, like, what if in a month my schedule changes? What if I don't stick to it? What if I can't afford it? What if we, we play out all the what ifs. Well, today is what you have control of today again you got that page january 20th 2024 
three, two, one. Here we go. Let's finish it off. Down and up. So go. Listen to those whispers. Your purpose, your passion. If it lights you up, if it scares you, that that's meant for you, right? And it's not going to be the same for everybody, right? Are you the organizer? Are you the picture taker? Are you the planner? Every, we need lots of different strengths um, in any situation. In the family, think about different strengths. In the relationship, you have different strengths. Friendships. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Three, two, one. All right, I went a minute over, but again, just a little plant that seed. Do something this year, today, this month, that makes you a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but I'll leave you with this, like I always tell the kids. Have fun, be safe. Don't forget that part. Don't do anything super, super crazy. All right, step it out. Let's just reach it over. Maybe you're facing something uncomfortable right now that you didn't choose, right? That's another thing. That's what equips you. Reach it up and over. Ah, all right, we're gonna go to and stretch next. Oh, I needed that. I was, whew, lift it up and over. And then give yourself credit for pushing past that fear or that doubt or whatever you're feeling and showing up and doing the darn best you can. Say that to yourself every day. I am doing the best I can. And believe that in others too. All right, big inhale. Big exhale. Oh, all right, if you're going on, have a beautiful day. If you are local and you don't have anything to do this afternoon, uh, it is an adorable play. There's like 50 little kids in Bishop. What? Today. Oh, Kim leaves up. Ah. Oh. Ooh, okay, thank you, Amanda. I'm just reading the comments now. Ah, yes, yes, Alex, yes. Ah, thank you, Anne. What? No, that's the, okay. Say, say bye. All right, we'll see you all in sculpt. Say hi to Grammy. Bye.